2 Samuel 22 from verse 1, the Bible says, And David spoke unto the Lord the words of this song. In the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. He saves me from violence. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Let's thank the Lord this morning like David. We can also testify this morning that the Lord has been our rock. He's been our fortress and our deliverer. When we look at all the things he's done for us, we can see that we have been saved from our enemies. The enemy has not had his way over us. The wishes of the kingdom of darkness have not come to pass concerning us. Let's thank him this morning, just like David. Father God, we call on your name this morning, for you are worthy to be praised. When we think about the things that you have done for us, Lord, we see your mighty power. We see that indeed you are faithful, O God. You are worthy to be praised. We have been saved from our enemies. Lord, when we look at you, we see that you are our rock. You are our rock. You are our shield. You are the horn of our salvation, our high tower, our refuge, our savior. You have saved us from the violence of the kingdom of darkness. We want to say thank you to you. We want to return the glory to you. Lord, we thank you for delivering us out of the hand of the enemy. Thank you, Father. You've not allowed the kingdom of darkness to prevail over the church of God. You've not allowed the plans of the enemy to prevail. Instead, Father, you have continued to rescue us, your children. You have continued to save us. You've continued to deliver us. No evil has befallen us because you are good, you are kind, and your mercies endureth forever. We say thank you this morning, oh God, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. When we continue with that song in, in 2 Samuel 22, it says in verse 17, it says, God sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Let's thank the Lord this morning that God himself, he sends instructions from heaven to deliver us out of many waters. It doesn't matter how many challenges there is divine rescue from God. You know, you could picture that person who is being overwhelmed by the sea or by the ocean and a, a, a lifeguard is sent from above like a helicopter and it carries them out of that water. Our God is more powerful than that. There is a rescue that comes to us. Even if it looks like we're about to drown, like the waters would overwhelm us. He sends from above he sends the help. He commands help to reach us, even in that place of drowning. And he brings us out. The Bible says he delivered me from my strong enemy. No matter how strong they are. He says they were stronger than me. They hated me and they were stronger than me. But hallelujah, they are not stronger than my God. They are not stronger than the King of Kings. They are not stronger than the maker of the universe. They might be too strong for a human being, but they are not stronger than Adonai. They are not stronger than Elohim God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. They are not stronger than El Shaddai, the double-breasted God who is more than enough to meet our needs. Father, we thank you this morning that you have sent rescue for us. Where, Lord, the enemy was too strong for us. You have sent help and you've delivered us, oh God. You've not allowed us to be destroyed. You have not allowed the enemy to, oh God, to be victorious over us. No matter how strong the enemy has been, oh my king you are stronger than them you have sent oh god your word and rescued us from the strong enemies i thank you for divine rescue i thank you for divine rescue we have been rescued this morning our god is good in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen he says in verse 20 he brought me forth also into a large place 
God is not just rescuing us so that we can continually be limited. He's bringing us into a large place. He has rescued us so that our lives will be full of testimony that our father is mighty. When he rescues us, he doesn't just leave you in a small place, but he brings us into a large place, into a place where people can see that we are serving a real God. Thank you for bringing us into a large large place oh god thank you for bringing you have enlarged our coast you have enlarged our territory you have enlarged our coast are we thank you lord you have given us increase on every side increase on every side you have brought us into a large place oh rama second lebrado siam maso kondoria baba baba uria maso kondolia baba rekende lebrado siam in the name of Jesus, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. He says in verse 30 of that second Samuel 22, he said, for by you, Lord, I ran through a troop. By my God, I leap over a wall. It doesn't matter how many enemies' troops are in front of me. By my God, I can run through them. They cannot stop me. In other words, we have become unstoppable. He says, by my God, I leap over a wall. Okay, they built the wall to keep me out. But by my God, I am leaping over the wall and I'm running through the troop. I have become unstoppable in the name of Jesus. I cannot be stopped. You cannot be stopped, my brethren. We cannot be stopped. We are unstoppable this month. Whatever God wants for us, we are possessing it. The enemy cannot stop us. We have become unstoppable. We cannot be hindered. Our children cannot be hindered. Our our families cannot be hindered. Our loved ones cannot be hindered. We have become unstoppable. By my God, I run through a troop. Whatever is that demonic army that have been assigned to stop us, by our God, we run through them. They cannot stop us. Whatever the demonic walls that have been built in front of us to slow us down and to prevent our progress, this morning, we are running over those walls. We leap over that wall. In the name of Jesus, we have become unstoppable in the spirit realm and in the natural realm. The enemy cannot stop us in any way. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. He said in verse 35 of 2 Samuel 22. He trains my hands for war. So that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. He trains my hands for war. We're going to ask God this morning. Lord, train us for war. Give us the prayer points. Give us the word, the scriptures. Train us for war. That every time the enemy is declaring war against us, we have the divine strategy and we are victorious. Train us for war. Train our children for war. Even the youngest of them, Lord. Train us for war this morning. So that, Lord, whatever the enemy brings to our gates, we will never be defeated in the name of Jesus. Train us for war, Almighty Father. In the name of Jesus, uh, let my hands be trained for war. Malika Sokondoli Ababa. And by faith, oh God, uh, we will do the impossible. Oh Rama Second Teleba. When a human hand uh, can bend a bow of bronze, uh, that is the faith, uh, victory, victory, victory. What is beyond human capacity? Lord, you are empowering us to get the victory. We thank you, we thank you. Malekado Subrede Leba Zugade. Maria Gado Sombregete Leba Sukan Telebaya. Maroko koko borobo sia unana mama mama zeke deteba ragado sofredu skabalegada in the name of Jesus we thank you we thank you we thank you rabase ketele katula basakada uria mama mama korabasia reke keke ke borobo sia rambuza vrado sokondo libaba uria mama mama second telebaya in the name of Jesus Father we thank you O oh God in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. 
And then he says in verse 37, he says, Lord, you have enlarged my steps under me so that my feet have not slipped. Let's ask the Lord, enlarge our steps under, so that we will not make a mistake. We will not stumble. We will not fall. We will not lo- lose any ground from a temporary fall. No, we will not fall. We will keep going higher and stronger in the name of Jesus. Father, enlarge our steps under us so that we will not sleep. We will not fall. We will not stumble in the name of Jesus. There will be no day that the devil rejoices that we have fallen, that we have stumbled in the name of Jesus. Enlarge our steps, Lord, by your grace. For we know by your grace all things are possible. By your grace, oh God, by your strength, by your wisdom, by your counsel, by your understanding. Lord, enlarge our steps under us. We pray for our family members, oh God, for our brethren, for our prayer partners, oh God. God, none of them will fall. None of them will fail. None of them will stumble in the name of Jesus. We pray for our children. We pray for our nieces, our nephews. We pray for children in the body of Christ. They will not stumble. They will not fail. Oh God, there will be no day when the enemies are laughing and saying, yes, they fell today. Oh Lord, enlarge our steps under us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And then when we go to verse 40 of that um, second Samuel 22, it says, For you girded me with strength for the battle. Those who rose up against me, you subdued under me. You have made my enemies turn their backs to me so that I might cut off those who hate me. We are going to ask God, Father, thank you for girding us with strength. Cause our enemies to turn their backs to us. In other words, they start running. They are going away. They are no longer coming towards us. If they've turned their backs to us, it means they are leaving us alone. They are like, you know what, this one. No, let's just leave them. They are just too, too difficult. They're they're just too challenging. They've messed up our altars of evil. They've caused us too much trouble. Just leave them alone. Let's pray this morning. Father, let it be so in our lives. Thank you that you've girded us with strength for the battle. Those who rose up against us, God, you have subdued them. You have made our enemies turn their backs to us in the name of Jesus. In in verse um, 44, David sang the song and said, Lord, you have delivered me from the strivings of my people. You know, sometimes God gives us spheres of influence. There is a place where God has given you. But some people make it their business to fight with you over what God has given you. They strive with you. And he was saying the strivings of my people. It was not even people far away. People, you know, within, around him who were contending with him, even for the throne, even his own son, Absalom had contended with him for the throne. And then he said, God, you delivered me from the strivings from all these people striving for what you gave me. All these people grumbling against me and trying to take what you gave to me that Lord, you've delivered me. Let's pray to God this morning. Father, wherever you have given us, oh God, whatever you have given us, whatever you have given me, Lord, And there's been strivings, oh God. There's been contentions over what you gave to me. Lord, I pray this morning, deliver me from the strivings, oh God. Let every striving, oh God, every argument over what God has given me, Lord. Let that striving be silenced. In the name of Jesus, uh, silence, oh God, uh, silence the strivings, oh God, uh, where they've been arguing with what you gave me, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, oh God, arise uh, and silence these strivings, uh, deliver us from the strivings of the people, every argument, oh God, uh, against what you have given us, uh, let that argument be silenced, uh, deliver us, my King, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, uh, we pray for deliverance from the strivings of the people. Deliver us, Lord. Whatever belongs to us this morning, let it come to us without, oh God, any more strivings. Whatever is supposed to be for our families, for our children, for our spouses, let it come to us, oh God, and not be taken away in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, in our professions, in the ministries, whatever we are doing in businesses, whatever belongs to us, may it remain with us. May it not be rest 
wrestled out of our hands in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, like you did for David in 2 Samuel 21, oh God, from verse 15 to 17, Lord, we pray do for us, wherever we are waxing faint and tired, just like David was becoming tired of the constant battles, he was about to be killed by Ish Bibinob, but Abishai rose on his behalf, Abishai rose and he succored him, he strengthened him and he fought the giant and killed the giant, Father God, we pray Lord, every area where we are waxing faint, any area where the enemy is seen a weak point and is about to destroy what you have given to us, Lord let help us arise, let help us arise, let help us arise, let intercessors wake up in the night and hear our names and begin to pray. Let intercessors arise in the night. Hear our names and begin to pray. Let there be intercession for us. Let there be help, oh God. Let us not be the only ones praying for ourselves, but let many help us arise. Let many intercessors arise all over the world. People that we don't even know, they will wake up with our names in their spirit and begin to pray for us. In the name of Jesus, we will not be remembered by powers of darkness, but we will be remembered by the children of the Most High God. We will be remembered by the intercessors, oh God. Let them raise up their voices and succor us and strengthen us in the name of Jesus. We will not be overwhelmed by the enemy. Blessed be your name, Father. All our families, may we be remembered by your children in the name of Jesus. We thank you for help. We thank you for help. In Talabaya. Thank you, our Lord. We worship you for your help, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. John 11, you know, he said to them, John 11 uh, verse 40, Didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? And we know the end of that story. Lazarus came out. He wasn't smelling. He wasn't stinking. He resurrected because God's glory was revealed to them. Let's pray this morning. You know, are there some things in our lives that looks like, okay, this one is already lost. It's not as if it's going to be sorted. You know, it's already gone too far. It's almost like, it's like a Lazarus story. You know, people are like, don't even bother pray that prayer point anymore. Some of us will say, I've stopped praying that prayer. <laughs> don't pray for it again. It's in the past. But let's pray this morning. Jesus said in John eleven forty, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? That's New Living Translation. Let's tell God this morning, Lord, we believe in you and we are ready to see your glory this morning. Whatever in our personal lives looks like is gone beyond. It cannot even be helped anymore. Lord, this morning, we are ready to believe you for a miracle. We are ready to see your glory. You have promised us, oh God, that if we believe, we would see the glory of God. Father, I believe in you this morning for whatever looks impossible, whatever looks like it cannot happen. Lord, I believe glory in the land of the living. I am ready to see the glory of God. I am ready this morning to see that solution, oh God, to see, oh God, the coming to life of what looked dead. I am ready to see your goodness in the land of the living. I am ready to see Father Lord. Maria Thank you, Father, that this morning you are restoring, Lord, what looked impossible in our lives. We thank you for restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for restoration. Thank you for restoration in the name of Jesus.